Welcome to Barcelona, a vibrant and alluring city where history and modernity collide. With over 1.6 million people, Barcelona is the second most populous city in Spain. Its blend of Catalan and Spanish influences are evident in its architecture, food, and traditions. From the awe-inspiring Sagrada Familia to the bustling Gothic Quarter, Barcelona is a must-visit destination for those seeking culture and adventure. Come and discover the infectious energy and charm of this magical city as we take you guys with us for our list of 10 things that you can do even within 24 hours. And welcome back to another video here guys on the Nomac Guides channel where we share with you things to do in places all around the world. In today's video, we are going to share with you everything you need to know to spend 24 hours in Barcelona the best way. And a very special thank you to my little sister, Sarah, who lives in Barcelona, Spain with her boyfriend, Gregory. They showed me and my belle all around the city. So that's how we made this video possible within 24 hours. And with all of my Nomad Guides videos, these are not in any specific order from best to worst. They're just simply how I decided to put them in the videos. So it's definitely in your best interest to stick around till the end so you don't miss out on any of these amazing things. Let's jump right in. Number one on the list is going to be visit La Sagrada Familia. So let me just tell you, walking up to this structure, which I've done now two, maybe even three times, blows your mind. It is one of the most stunning basilicas in the world and it was designed by the famous architect Antoni Gaudi. And it's literally still under construction, guys. Like I was here four or five years ago and there was still scaffolding at the top and now it there still is. And that was literally four years later. It's been being built for so long, but they are thinking it's finally going to be completed in 2026. So anyways, though, the design of the Basilica includes three grand facades that depict the nativity, passion, and glory of Jesus Christ. The interior of the basilica is awe-inspiring though, with towering columns that resemble trees, vibrant stained glass windows, and intricate sculptures. This place is just something else. It's truly a mastermind of architecture. Number two on the list is going to be the Arc de Triomphe. So the Arc de Triomphe was built in 1888 as kind of like the main entrance to the Barcelona World Fair. The arch is made of red brick and it's basically adorned with sculptures and carvings that symbolize Barcelona's various districts and industries. It's a nice little area to kind of just stroll and walk around that's pretty much what we did we checked out the arc for a couple minutes and then just walked along it and there were like street performers playing outside and a lot of people just enjoying the sunny weather number three on the list is to take a stroll to park de la ciutadella so this park is just like everything else in barcelona just absolutely magnificent and beautiful so when you walk in you have this huge fountain and sculptures all around and the main area you go to has like this spot where ducks are swimming around. So picturesque for photos. You can walk up to the top and see many different views of the park. And yeah, it's home to many different attractions. There's a lake, a zoo, a museum, and just so many statues and monuments, which was designed by Josep Fontesere. And it's literally considered to be one of the most beautiful fountains in all of Barcelona. Number four on the list is to stroll through Port Vell. So actually Port Vell is one of the oldest harbors in Barcelona and why people love to visit there is because it is home to many luxurious yachts and boats. The harbor has for sure gone through a bunch of extensive renovations basically to make it possible for other things like shopping, dining, and entertainment. It's a bit of a hot spot now and that's why I recommend you guys take a leisurely stroll and enjoy the views, enjoy the uh, food options, and the beautiful Mediterranean Sea. Number five on the list is to visit Plaja del Mar. Basically, it's a beach that is in the Barceloneta neighborhood. And it's actually one of the most popular beaches in Barcelona. As you could probably imagine, where it's located is like one of the hot spots to be. The beach actually stretches over a kilometer long and it's known for its golden sand and that clear water you can see. And there are all kinds of things you can do like water sports. I mean, that's swimming even now when we were here, kind of in the shoulder season, people were actually swimming. You can do sunbathing like everyone's doing pretty much year round there, beach volleyball ball or just stroll around on bikes or scooters number six on the list actually works quite well when you're right in placha del mar you can watch flamenco dance a lot of people go to restaurants for it and sit down and have a dinner while watching a lot of people just go and grab a nice sangria or wine or something and watch flamenco but you can actually watch it in the streets like right here next to placha del mar
then it's a traditional dance that's known for its like passionate and intense movements. It's actually a dance that came from southern Spain, Andalusia as they call it, but it has become popular all over Spain and you'll even find it in other places around the world as well. So definitely a must do whether it's on the streets and theaters, clubs or bars. Number seven on the list is to take a couple steps over while you're in the Plaza del Mar beach area and hop aboard the Teleferique del Port. So it is a cable car that connects the Matujuic Hill to the Barcelona neighborhood and offers such stunning views of the city, the sea around it. You can see the yachts from up there. And surprising, it's literally been in operation since 1929 and it's one of the oldest ones in the world. Now, don't be fooled, it's only a 10 minute ride. We thought it connected to the cable car you could see much further down, but unfortunately it's literally just a 10 minute ride and it's quite pricey. But uh, it's worth it if you want to do as much as possible and you got the extra cash to spend. Number eight on the list is to visit the Castel de Montujuic. So if you just took the Teleferique del Port over from that side, you'll realize that you actually have to hop on another Teleferique which means another payment. So I will say Barcelona is very good at making sure they get every euro, dollar, yen, whatever currency you're coming from out of the tourist, but it is a cool experience, so it's worth it. But we just did a trip to the outside of it, and you can see what a 17th century uh, military fortress was like. And it served many different purposes through history, and if you go inside the castle and do a tour, which again costs money as well, you'll be able to experience a really cool timeline of how it's been used. Even during the Spanish Civil War, the castle was actually used as a prison and execution site, so it's lived many different lives, the way it's described in history. So definitely a visit, at least to the outside is worth it, but if you have the time and the uh, funds, head on inside to check it out as well. Number nine on the list is to visit the Montajuic Gardens and Olympic Village. So yes, you may be surprised, but actually the Olympics were held in 1992 in this area way up here, kind of in the hilly areas of Barcelona. So it's a really cool area because obviously they had this place set up for the Olympics now nearly 30, over 30 years ago, and they've remodeled it into some restaurants over there that overlook, there's parks, there's sunset viewpoints, and it's really worth just strolling through and enjoying the beautiful views. And number 10 on the list, last but not least, is to visit the Mirador del Losel de Mar for sunset. So the reason why I mentioned this one is because if you look at everything to do video or list, they all say go to the bunkers for sunset. Well, here's the thing, there's a lot of tourists and there's a lot of videos mentioning to go here. So the bunkers have become completely overrun with tourists. I went uh, four years ago when I was in Barcelona and it was a cool experience, but from the latest photos and videos I've seen, the bunkers are pretty overrun. So if you head over to the Mirador de Ocel de Mar for sunset, you're going to find a lookout point in the Forum area of Barcelona and it offers such stunning views of the sea and the city. And it's actually like shaped like a bird and I mean specifically the lookout point. And so a lot of people are starting to come here. But let's put it this way, by a lot, I mean pretty much nobody compared to the bunkers. So guys, this is the end of the video. And I really hope you've enjoyed this video. We have explored a lot of Barcelona, but of course this is only a very tiny fraction of what Barcelona has to offer. You can spend weeks here and still have only done a fraction of the things, but this is an itinerary for you guys to explore 24 hours worth of stuff. We fit this all in within just one single day, but I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Drop a comment below. What's your favorite item on the list that we shared with you? And so guys, last but not least, if you are looking specifically for tours to do, you can actually check the links down in the description below, and those will give you direct access to some of the things that you can book. I do want to mention, I get a small kickback and and it helps this channel so much if you use those links but it doesn't cost you any extra money but of course no pressure if you don't want to but i really hope you guys enjoy your trip and we will see you in the next one